everyone! Today I'm here to do a little vlog style video with a Reborn Art Doll, Sparrow. Here he is. And I want to introduce a new little friend in the nursery. This is Mocha. I got her a few weeks ago and just had not had a chance to share her on my channel yet. I even got her a really cute fall themed collar. And she has another one for um, Thanksgiving as well. So I can't wait to share that with you all. But she is our new puppy in the nursery. She's just so sweet. She's a Douglas Deluxe dog. I believe they named this one Moses, but mine's a girl. And again, I named her Mocha. So here's what I'm gonna change Little Sparrow into. I've got a couple cloth diapers to try on him to see which one fits him best. And then he's gonna wear one of his Dumbo outfits from the set I shared recently. We're gonna change him and then we are gonna run a couple errands. I need to go to the post office to ship off a doll that I sold and I wanna go to Hobby Lobby. I started a new hobby, even though I didn't really need any new hobbies. Let's just be honest. I spend enough money on my current hobbies, but <laughs> I have picked up um, knitting. So I knitted this chunky baby blanket for photos. Cozy for fall. This is in the color coffee. Love how it turned out. This is my very first time knitting and I think it turned out really good. Anyway, I want to go see if Hobby Lobby has any more yarn on sale. All of their yarn was 30% off when I bought this yarn. So I want to see if they have any more because I've used up all my yarn already. And then I also have started coloring adult coloring books. I already ordered pencils online. I ordered um, gel pens and a bunch of adult coloring books, which I will share maybe in the next video. Probably do a whole haul of all the art supplies that I got. Oh my goodness. But I want to go to Hobby Lobby and check out what they have in terms of colored pencils, maybe even acrylic paints and some other things that would be fun to work with in my coloring books. Let's get Sparrow ready to go and let's go. This doll has been sitting in the car seat for three or four weeks now. Here she is, Miss Lottie. <laughs> so we're gonna get her out of here so that Sparrow can use the car seat now. <laughs> was going to change the car seat straps to these cute little bear ones, but these don't have Velcro. So they're stuck on there unless I can completely unthread the seat belt. And I don't want to do that because I'm in a hurry and I'm feeling lazy. So I guess I'll do that later. <laughs> doll packed up yet. I have everything that she's going to go home with ready, but I need to tape the box and find my bubble wrap and I cannot, for the life of me, find my box tape. Ooh, there's some box tape here, but it's like, mm, barely any. Probably not enough to tape up this box. <gasps> oh no, I might have to run to the store to get box tape 
come back home, tape up the box, then go to the post office. No, that would be so bad. Okay, I know there's more box tape around here. I'm going to find it. Important update, I found my box tape. I knew I had some somewhere. It was right here. It was right here the whole time. Welcome to my chaotic life. Before I finish packing her up to be ready to go, here's the doll that is leaving my nursery. I had to sell her, unfortunately, but it had to be done. So here she is, and her new mommy is very, very excited to get her. So let's get her ready to go home. First, you will line the box with bubble wrap, as always. Definitely want this baby to arrive home safely. Ooh, that might have been a little too much bubble wrap. And then, we're going to put her COA and birth certificate in the bottom of the box. Then, the doll. I just have a couple of outfits for this doll. I don't have very much in this doll's size, but her new mommy said that she would be happy to purchase some outfits for her and that she already does have some outfits in her size. So that is perfect. Oh my goodness. I went through a checklist in my mind before I finished closing up this box and it's a good thing that I did because I had this spare belly plate laying around for the past five years and I've been looking for a doll to send it home with that matches skin tone wise and everything and this doll matches pretty well so I asked her new mommy if she wanted it and she said yes it's a really good thing I remembered that before I closed up this box so I just wrapped the belly plate in this romper that's going home with her. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, it's actually a couple days later now. That was a total reborn outing fail. I went to the post office. My husband ran into the post office really quick to drop off that doll for me to ship it and then we went to Hobby Lobby first of all the store was packed full of people so many people I was looking at the pencils and the markers and things and it just did not end up working out I didn't end up getting any footage at all and then we left there went to Walmart. Walmart was also very packed. My husband just ran into Walmart by himself while I fed our daughter. Real baby. <laughs> and um, so I didn't even get out of the car at Walmart and I didn't end up filming anything. <laughs> I am so sorry. I tried so hard to make it a really fun outing video and it just didn't work out. This happens every now and then. You all don't usually see these videos because if I film a video getting ready for an outing, then I go on the outing and film the outing. But occasionally it doesn't work out and I end up throwing away all of the footage of getting ready for the outing. But today I didn't want to do that. So this is kind of like a behind the scenes of a failed outing. Anyway, because I didn't get outing footage, I just wanted to go ahead and share my haul of Amazon stuff with you all because I got some stuff from Amazon, um, a bunch of art supplies I just wanted to share, and one other item for the babies. I got this really cute car seat cover on Prime Day sale. Prime Day sales. I just couldn't help myself. So I got this for the babies. It's a copper pearl 
multi-use cover, but I'm mostly going to use it on the car seat with the dolls. It has this adorable s'mores print. Y'all know I have a obsession with s'mores stuff for the dolls. So I've been eyeing this for a long time, but these are very expensive. But with a Prime Day sale, I think they were 40% off or something like that. So I could afford that. I'm just going to put that right here for now, and then I'll show you the cute art stuff that I got. I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea. My channel is usually all dolly stuff, but I sometimes share some of my other hobbies as well. I got this huge stack of adult coloring books. Let me show you. This one is It's a Cat's World. These, I love them. The Creative Haven coloring books, and they're very affordable. Let me just sit these down and show you some of the illustrations. I mean, seriously, how cute are these? I'm working on this one right now. I don't have my colored pencils yet. I'm still waiting on those in the mail. But I had some black colored pencils, so I started with that. I just couldn't help it. I had to get started on something. It was really cute. And... Then I got this one. This is Country Farm Scenes. Very pretty. And I also invited my mom to get one of these so that we could work on this one together. So I'm really excited for that. She just ordered hers the other day. This one, Autumn Charm. I just love all of the illustrations by where is it uh, down here <laughs> Teresa Goodridge she does amazing illustrations and coloring books I'm actually going to be doing this one alongside my friend Leslie from bundles of joy 83 that's her channel here on YouTube and she also has an Instagram account if you want to follow her there but we are dolly friends that's how we met and now we are also mom friends we talk about just mom life all the time with each other and now we are also sharing our hobbies of adult coloring with each other and it's just so much fun so we're going to be doing this book alongside each other this one i had to have happy birthday <laughs> because I thought it would be so much fun to do with gel pens, the glittery and metallic ones. My kids are having a great time right now, so <laughs> excuse all the laughing in the background. At least it's laughing um, and not them fighting with each other or something. This one is the one I've been working on with my gel pens just to kind of get used to the gel pens, test out all the colors. Um, yeah, I just... I've been working on this. I was working on this yesterday evening. Of course, I got myself a couple of Christmas ones because I'm very excited about Christmas this year. I actually am thinking about doing shorts videos showing me coloring these pages in time lapse or when I do my vlogmas this year with my dolls, maybe adding my coloring pages to the end like coloring a christmas page um every couple days to the end of each video so that those of you who are also interested in coloring can see them here's this one christmas inspirations i really love this one i have one more christmas one still coming in the mail and then i got this one to work on with my kids. My kids love coloring, so I thought, why not get one coloring book that we can do together? Of course, it's fall themed. It's got all kinds of cute animals. And like I said, I have a couple more books coming, even though that's a lot already. Now, these were a great Prime Day buy. I got these really great sets of gel pens. I got one in all glitter pens and then one that is metallics, glitter, and regular. 
gel pens. And what is this one? This one is my, that's the regular set. And then let me show the glitter set. The same amount of pens. I know this is a ton of gel pens. But here they are. These are the ones I was using yesterday on that happy birthday page. Look at how pretty they are. My oldest son was having a great time helping me pick out the colors. And one thing I really like about these, because I'm completely colorblind. Yes, I see the whole world in black and white. Yes, seriously. Um, I have a rare eye condition that causes that. But with these gel pens, they have the names of the colors on them, which a lot of pens and pencils don't. And um, most of them are actually very self-explanatory in the name. Sometimes art companies will give certain colors these crazy names. And that's a problem for me um, because I can't tell, you know, what type of orange is this? Is it even orange? Is it blue? Is it green? What is it? Um, but with these, I mean, it's very self-explanatory. I mean, there's one that's like, let's see, hot pink, hot lava, um, firefly, color of tea, shiny emerald, silver sage, shamrock, fuchsia, glitter bronze. Um, you get the point. Like, it's, it's just, it makes sense. Like, the names that they gave them make sense so that I can better use my colors on my coloring pages. So anyway, that's my haul for now from Prime Day. And I can't wait to use this car seat cover for the dolls. I'll be doing another outing soon. I'm planning a pumpkin patch video this year. I'm gonna be taking Honey, I think, because she has a really cute pumpkin outfit. Um, but I don't have a date set for that yet and I better get to it since we're already halfway through October. I also am going to be doing a fall walk video, like a nature walk, sometime soon, hopefully. I want to find a cool new park to go to to share with you all. Um, we have a lot of really cool nature parks in our area. And the last time I did one of those videos where I took a doll to one of our lakes nearby, I showed baby alligators and turtles and um, ducks, all kinds of animals that you all loved to see so i want to make some more videos like that anyway this is getting way too long i hope you all enjoyed the video even though i didn't get any outing footage and um i'll be back with another video soon thanks for watching everyone